Why, hello there, trolls and hobbits alike. Shams Nelson here from Pen and Blade. And in this episode, we're going to be using the Fantastic Anatomy method to draw a troll. Ryan Veer has asked very politely, draw a troll. <laughs> and so we shall. Thank you, Ryan, for the suggestion. So trolls are a tricky, tricky bunch because they can, there's no, there's, unlike most fantasy creatures, they don't actually exist. Sorry to, spoiler, spoiler alert. Um, so they could look, they could be, they've been imagined in a few different ways. So we're going to do three different kinds of trolls. We're going to do the big blocky troll. And they have some similar features, most of them. We're going to do the World of Warcraft type troll. You know, not exactly World of Warcraft, but you know, more of like the skinny, like humanoid looking troll who's not a gigantic person. And then we'll also do more like a Lord of the Rings small nose troll. Most noses, tro most noses have large trolls, but some noses have small trolls. And in that case, we will explore that as well in this episode. So, what are we looking at here? We've got three different skull shapes you know and you could start with any shape i recommend you going for a crazy shape you know what we'll do that last it's going to be the special surprise troll we're just going to do a shape like this and we'll see what happens if we apply the fantastic anatomy method to it i'm actually very curious myself i don't think I've, i don't know if i've ever tried that a completely asymmetrical blob shape so here you know what i think i'm going to start off with the more square on the eyeballs and you know what to make the head look bigger let's make the eye sockets a little bit smaller because basically the smaller the eyes are the bigger the head in general is gonna look and we want this guy to have a big old head so let's try that out we're gonna put the the nose socket but actually in well one of the main features on this guy is gonna be a big nose so here's like what the nasal cavity might look like but let's just stick in a big nose with a long overhang okay so you got the two nostrils so it's basically this shape but we're gonna make the front part a circle like that you know and we can just have it have this shape and it'll actually give us a good feel for the nose just like that and then we got to decide how big we want the tusks maybe they're asymmetrical the mouth is probably going to be let's continue with the fantastic anatomy method to place the mouth Usually we do something like this, and we're gonna get the mouth size to fit with the face. But with a troll, we wanna get that mouth extra big. So we can make the cheekbones further out, like here. We can have the mouth going all the way across. And right around the edges of the mouth, we can add two tusks. Maybe this one's broken off. And maybe we add another tooth too. That's pretty cool, I like that. And then we'll have the big ears. All right, let's go and look at the other kinds, the other trolls before we finish this one off. So we can kind of compare the difference at this point. So for this guy, you know, we're gonna keep it more humanoid. I'm gonna do it a little quickly because you can watch the earlier Fantastic Anatomy, the first episode or something to see this process. I don't wanna we explain every detail because I'm assuming you're following along sequentially and you've drawn elves and dwarves and gnomes and all sorts of creatures so far. So we still want the, the, the mouth to be wider. So let's widen that up a little bit. And then these tusks are huge for the World of Warcraft type gnome. And in, I mean troll. And in fact, the, the, the lips might come over the edge a little. See how they come over the edge there? So that's pretty cool. I like that. And then finally on this one, let's keep the eyes pretty small, pretty beady. The nose, this time the nose is going to be like upturned. So there's almost no nose. So we're actually just going to put two um, nostrils right there. You can already see that's pretty much what the nose is going to look like. And then we'll make them you know the cheekbones would be around here make a long line for the thing and we can have something like that and with both of these we've got the long 
ears from around the bottom of the nose to the top of here to the top of the eyebrows and then here we can have the nose coming down again so if you watch the other episode you'll see kind of you'll know about this shape and we're just extending this much further down to give it that long nose feeling and here we'll make the ears smaller this is kind of the exception to the rule okay cool you can already see how we've got three trolls getting lined up here ready for action another thing about no trolls is they probably have a thick neck so here you could start the neck even out past the ears with a convex sort of shape or it could be a straight line this one you know might be a straight line coming all the way from from up here so you could have their their trapezius muscles are just huge and they have these short stocky necks this guy has more of a normal a normal neck he's more humanoid than the others cool all right we're really coming along here so let's put in some features i'll make my my uh pen color a little darker i chose green because troll and let's make it a little darker green make it a little cooler too just so it's i don't know i like that so for this guy you might want to drop the brow over see over the eye socket and in doing so you're going to give him a grumpy look and we might even just put the eyes in there and just you could go like this if you want make it really creepy so he's just got these beady eyes and that's kind of a cool idea for a villainous character to make the iris white or a different color if you're coloring it in so it's like almost like they're glowing like a you know how when you watch those nature documentaries and like a predator's eyes will glow at night i think it's reminiscent of that so it instantly gives us like a creeped out factor and you can add some bumps you know we're gonna add those all over the place for all these trolls keep them bumpy and add some random hairs you know keep them keep them unkempt yeah that's basically one of the main features of a troll we want to keep them unkempt and you might add some extra lines under the eyes and on the forehead to give them like an older wrinklier vibe this guy looks a little too old so i'm going to keep it wrinkly but i'm not going to over exaggerate the eye the under the eyes so to keep him a little bit you know he's not an old man troll maybe we will do an old man troll if you want an old man troll then let me know in the comments below i'll make a brand new video how to draw old trolls you know what i'm saying that's a video on its own so we've already got the mouth and you can kind of like i like to make the corners of the mouth sometimes have a little bit of a extra dark part because it kind of dips in here it's a general tip for mouths like actually there are a lot of different ways to do mouth but i just felt like doing that here and then for the under lip you see how i kind of give it this upside down u shape because you know there might be a shape like that so and you could give them some hair if you want let's see you know maybe like that and we're just gonna pretty much finish off this troll looking the way he is i really like the idea of like um what's that channel i've been watching recently drawfy I'm sure if you guys haven't heard of it and you like my content, you'd probably be intrigued by Drawfee because those guys are some great artists and um, they kind of take like crazy prompts and make up characters. So that might be something fun that I'd enjoy doing. So let me know if that's something you think you'd enjoy watching. And if so, if you have any ideas for prompts, then that would be helpful and exciting for me. So I think we've gotten this guy down for the most part. You can see how that is pretty much a troll. So we got one troll down. Cha-ching. Cool. So for this guy, we're going to keep things a little more like standard Fantastic Anatomy. So the eyes might look similar to the way we do eyes on regular characters. But the brows are probably a little bit more and I don't think I don't think they have eyebrows. I'm gonna just go ahead and say they don't have eyebrows. Um 
Does anybody know what Taz Dingo means? I think it's the name of a guy. But every time I think of these guys, I'm like, Taz Dingo. That's what's going through my head right now. I mean, this guy is basically done the way he is now. If you wanted to add, you know, some hair, you give him a hairline. Do they have hair? I don't actually know. I think of it as like a bun with some bones. You know, sticking out. He's got his... Hardcore man bun. And then the long tusks. And he's got a pretty stoic attitude to him. This one might look good with a goatee too. If trolls don't have facial hair, then I apologize. I don't know what to tell you. But for now, I think that still makes for a decent troll. So this is more of like the humanoid World of Warcraft troll. I think you get the idea. And I could see like some some markings or like, you know, uh, little patches of skin that's a different color there. Kind of like a Bulbasaur. And that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to leave it for, for this guy. Now here, we've got our our, our kind of flat nose troll and you can kind of take what we've done here and even go around it like that and give it kind of like a stub nose kind of like a, a piglet and I think again if you keep the iris white it's kind of a cool idea so let's go ahead and do that make the rest of the the um what's it called the eye dark and you can just go over it and maybe even make these into like like they're sticking out like that when i draw dinosaurs i like to give them a brow ridge like that and we've got the long mouth and a couple teeth sticking out you can add some lines like this to kind of show show the lip give it a little texture and I think that's pretty much it you can give them a couple chins give my second chin under there subtly you know and keeping give him a cool earring <laughs> that changes the whole vibe now he just looks like he's going to a metal concert and kind of keep the head lumpy I like to do a three lump method I'll show you that real quick because I did it super subtly, but it makes a difference. Lump one, lump two, and lump three. I'm kind of keeping in the, the idea that there are these three lumps can give a can give a bit of a, a subtle feeling towards the, the cranium, the skull, that wouldn't have been there before. Remember to add your warts, you know, warts and hair thumbs and uh, little furs and then maybe even add a, another chin here because that's where the chin would be and I think that's it we have drawn three very different trolls so let me know what kind of creature you'd like me to draw next using the fantastic anatomy method or otherwise if I've missed out on anything I know someone suggested a centaur inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia, so I might have to look at those, and if that's something I can do, I might have that come up in a future episode. But until then, oh, we almost forgot our crazy troll, the craziest troll of all. We are going to do this one super quick. Let's see what happens. So there, that's a shape, right? So we're going to add, yeah, sockets. <laughs> Be careful. It's somewhat symmetrical, but I think it's unsymmetrical enough to, to count. And I'm just going to kind of do this, you know, I'm going to skip this step of drawing the nasal cavity because I kind of know what, you know, what that might look like. Oh, no, I'm already scared. I don't think this is actually going to work out, but we'll see. You can also have this where this the eye is just like a kind of U shape that comes in from under the um what's it called the eyebrow ridge 
And then let's get this, let's, let's do some different tusks. So the tusk will go like this. You know, kind of under, under scooping tusks for some reason. Those don't look very functional, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then, so this is kind of coming like this. Are these the ears? I don't think so. These are just face flaps. Ah, see, this is why this may not work, because I don't know what that's supposed to be. And I'm not sure what to do about the head. Let's do a three bump method to give it a little anatomy kind of thing. You see, I subtly did it there. Ooh, then we'll add some ears. I mean, if I came up against a troll like that in the Dungeons and Dragons campaign, I would be pretty much like, whoa. This is bad news for me and the troll. So I don't know if that worked out. You'll have to let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's what I've got as far as um, asymmetrical weird shaped troll. But you see, it made a face. Like, like a, it, it made a face. I don't know what to tell you. Did it work? Yeah, you let them, you'll be the judge. All right, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.